Hi, this is JP LaForest from Studio JP. In this video, we're going to be doing a walkthrough of the Epson Home Cinema 3500 3D projector. So we'll start from the front. And basically the first thing is you have a lens cap here, which I'm going to remove. And I'm going to put that aside here. And behind here you have the lens which the image goes through to be projected on your wall or screen or whatever else. So the two main settings for that is you have a little lever here. This is your zoom lever and you might be able to see the element changing inside of there. And then the outside ring here is the focus. So basically when you uh, start it off and you start projecting on the wall, you're going to use this lever here to choose the size that you're going to be projecting at. And then with the focus ring, you're going to get the image in focus. So it does not appear blurry, but appears nice and sharp. Then the next two settings are on top here that you have two dials that you can turn for a physical lens shift. And that's really nice. Uh, it means that you can move the image around using the physical lens itself. So you can adjust uh, if you want the image to be higher or lower, more to the left, more to the right. So you don't have to do all the geometry with some weird software algorithms. You can do it physically here, which will improve the image quality. And then in the bottom here, you have uh, some uh, little legs uh, you have some in front and some in the back and just by turning them you can make them shorter or longer so that way you can adjust the pitch of the projector uh, right now it's on a quite low table it's just a TV table so uh, in this case I have to have it tilted up higher in this room but you can tilt it up you can tilt it down or whatever you need so plugging stuff in the back is actually pretty straightforward. You have your HDMI 1 MHL input here. So basically it could provide power for an MHL compatible device. And uh, that's where you would plug your main HDMI input. And then you have an HDMI 2 here so you can have two HDMI devices plugged into here. Then you have your PC connection here and you have an RS-232C connection here. You have a trigger out, you have your component and uh, RCA inputs here. You have a service port, which is a mini USB. And you can use the USB plug here to run a slideshow or to do a firmware upgrade or a couple of other things like that. And finally, you have your audio out. So the audio out you could use to send the audio to another device as a, such as a sound system or home cinema or something like that. And then the last thing in the back here is you have two speakers. They're two 10 watt speakers. And even though they're quite small, the quality of audio they produce is very, very good. And also the volume is quite strong that in my living room here, there's no way that I could use the volume on maximum. Uh, it's just too powerful. So if you were to use this in a classroom, a conference room or anything like that, I'm very sure that these speakers would be more than sufficient to fill even a decent sized room. All right, this time I moved the camera and refocused on top of the projector. And you have a nice built-in menu here that you can access most of the functions of the projector. So you have your power switch, you have your source selection, you have the menu escape and the volumes and also the geometry buttons here and the enter here. So the next thing I want to discuss is the projector remote. And this is actually very practical. So the first nice button, and you might not see it with the video lights on, but it is the light option here. 
So even if you're in the dark, you can press that and all the buttons get illuminated. So you can very easily see what you're going to be pressing on. And then on top here, you have the on button and the standby button. So if you want to turn it on, you press on. And if you want to turn it off, you can put it on standby from the remote. And then you have the picture in picture option here. Uh, you can select your sources, all of them here. Uh, you have the buttons for controlling play, pause, stop, fast forward, backwards, and all that stuff. And the nice thing is I plugged the 3D Blu-ray player in it. And through the HDMI, the projector is able to control my Blu-ray player without any other configuration. So I just plugged it in HDMI. And from this remote here, I was able to control it directly. So no need to enter fancy codes or anything like that. Uh, if your both of your devices can be controlled through HDMI, that's really awesome. And then you have the mute, the volume up and down. You have a couple of other buttons here. You have such as the 3D format, color mode, and super res detail enhancement. The detail enhancement I find is really great. You can really sharpen an image quite nicely with that, so that's really good. And then you have your regular pad here with the up downs and all that. And then in the bottom here, I didn't try all the options, but uh, basically you have the fine fast mode, which allows you to go from a better image quality to a faster refresh rate. So if you're going to be playing games, probably the fast mode is going to be best. But if you're watching a movie or you want something to look even nicer, then you should put it on fine. But even then, there's not a huge difference between the two. Uh, if you put it in fast, the image quality is still great. It just uh, lowers it just a tiny little bit so that it can process images faster. Then obviously the aspect to change the aspect ratio of your screen. You have the 2D, 3D option. So if you're looking to watch a 3D movie, you can activate your 3D right from there. The pattern button is to show just a pattern on the screen that I guess you could use to set up the projector or something like that. And the uh, wireless HD transmitter, I did not uh, test out that function, so. Anyway, the buttons are there if anybody needs them. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them in the box below. If you liked the video, please click like, comment, and share with a friend. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.